Hello YouTubers, my name is Nixby and you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it. And today we will be talking about turning on inline skates. There are three different ways of turning on inline skates. At least I know only three. The first one is so-called A turn, when your legs are in an A position like that. This turn is usually used by beginners and it is rather unstable and can be used only on a small speeds, so I don't recommend you to use it. The second way of turning is turn in the scissor position. This is the very reliable and rather simple way of turning and we will be talking about it today. The third way is a crossover, but crossover is not only the way of turning. It has a lot of other advantages and we will be talking about it in one of my future videos. So now let's move to the turning in scissor position. If you don't remember what the scissor position is, you should pause that video and watch that one before it. And now, when you are ready, let's start. There are two basic points in turn with the scissor position. First one. If you are going to turn to the right, your right foot should be in front. And of course, if you are going to turn to the left, your left foot should be in front. Don't try to turn with your left foot in front to the right. You can fall. Don't turn to the left if your front foot is right. You can fall in sight and harm your sight and your pride. Yeah. The second point of turning in scissor position is of course the edges. Your skates should be tilted in parallel to the side where you are going to turn. Like that. Yes? if you are going to turn to the right, and like that if you are going to turn to the left. Pay special attention to your front foot. It should always be on the outside edge, like that. And now let's talk how to make the turn. We are making it by one simple thing, moving your weight from the center of your body to the center of your turn. It's easy to say, but how to perform it? Luckily, there are some mental exercises that will help you to make it. And first exercise is called airplane. And you have to imagine that you are an airplane. So you are taking your scissor position, you are imagining yourself an airplane, and you are starting to tilt to the side where you are turning. And here it is. You are really turning. If you don't really like the airplanes, there is the second exercise, where you should imagine that you are a helicopter. And now your hands are not the wings, they are the blades of the helicopter. And in order to turn, you have to turn that blades, like that. It's a pretty slow and lazy helicopter, but it works quite well. Don't forget about your edges and like that. For those who don't like airplanes and helicopters, who don't like to fly at all, I have the thing that everyone likes. This is of course the suitcase full of money. Let's imagine that you have stolen the suitcase full of money, very heavy suitcase, from a mafia. And you are trying to escape from that mafia on your inland skates. That is pretty a stupid idea, but anyway. And in that case, the suitcase will help you to turn. Just imagine that you have it in your right hand if you are going to turn to the right. It's rather heavy. It pulls you to the right and you are turning to the right. If you want to turn to the left, you have to imagine it in your left hand. And yeah, it's pulling you to the left and you are turning to the left. Here I am, running from the mafiosis, and I have a suitcase in that hand. Oh, and it is pretty heavy, so it causes my turn. I hope that tips will help you to avoid evil mafiosis, and you will be able to watch my next video and next tutorial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to not miss it. Also, don't forget about likes and comments. Share that video in your social media. That's all about the turning in scissor position. I will return with new tutorials, new videos, new vlogs 
and so on. Thank you for watching. See you next time.